Aquarius, what is going on with you guys? How are you? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You also could be dealing with an Aquarius. If this reading resonates, if it provides you with any insight, I appreciate your love and support. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know you want these readings to keep coming. Aquarius, um, if you are interested in a personal tarot reading, all the details are in the description box. Um, my website will be the main place to get everything at some point. It is under construction, but be on the lookout for that. You can go um, and get a personal reading there. You can buy any of my tarot oracle decks, my jewelry, my cheat sheets. But right now, everything is on Etsy. All right, Aquarius, let's jump right in. What messages do we have for you? Clear, concise, accurate messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, the challenge for you guys is the hair font. So the challenge could be a commitment that you are in. This could be getting someone to commit, right? Maybe you've been looking toward that higher level of commitment. Um, there's the energy of maybe marriage. Maybe there's someone you see marriage with, or you want to know if there's marriage potential here. Does this person see you as someone they can settle down and seek marriage with? So this is the challenge. So there could be some challenges regarding commitments. Maybe you and this person don't see eye to eye on a commitment, okay? And this could be a commitment to a friendship, a commitment to a love relationship, right? It could be a business partnership, in recent past, we have the Tower, the Four of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. It looks like in the past, um, there was some kind of situation that came out, okay? And it brought a lot of instability to the situation between you and this person. Could have been something that was very unexpected, okay? Groundbreaking. It really shook the connection up. I feel like whatever this Tower is, um, I feel like you wanted to know something like why, what happened. You know, you wanted to know... Um, you wanted answers, you wanted clarity, you wanted truth. We have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like whatever happened with the Tower, I feel like it could have led to a break or a separation between the both of you, Aquarius. It looks like with the Four of Swords, this could be someone that you haven't been speaking to for a period of time. I'm getting four weeks, four months, maybe longer. But the Tower really shook things up to the point where you guys needed to um, break up, needed to separate. There's the energy here of I need, I need space, I need a moment. I need to find my peace because there's a lot of conflict. So whatever this tower is, it brought a lot of um, instability. There was a lot of uncertainty after this tower moment hit. And again, it could have been an exposure of something. could have been a secret coming out. could have been you finding out something. And I feel like with the Ace of Swords, it could have been something here that you, uh, I'm getting communication you found out or something you wanted to know answers about. What happened? Okay, this could be a Scorpio. You're dealing with Aquarius. The current energy is the King of Pentacles and a Six of Cups. Let's get one more. And a Chariot in Reverse. Okay, this could be Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It looks to me like there's something obviously that hasn't taken off. Someone has put the brakes on the connection. Someone is feeling like something hasn't been victorious. I feel like you're standing. Um, you know, you're here maybe with someone in particular. I'm getting this is a some this is another energy. This could be someone you're dealing with in particular, okay? I feel like they're standing here in this place of stability or trying to offer stability. This is someone who's offering like a cake. So I almost feel like this is someone who's presenting themselves very well to you, Aquarius. They may be presenting themselves this way because they are thinking about a reconciliation with you, Aquarius. This is someone that wants to reconcile. Six of Cups is someone that you both um, you both may be thinking about each other quite a bit. Six of Cups, you know, memories, thoughts of the past, pleasant times, you know, looking back on photos and pictures of each other. So even though things are not moving forward, even though there's a lack of change and movement, something feels like it's failed. There is the energy of I care about you. I miss you. Um, when are we coming back together? Can I see you? All right. So Aquarius, on your mind. On your mind is the moon in a verse and a hermit. I feel like on your mind is something coming out and you just don't know what to think. You don't know what to do with it. Because whatever you found out, it could have been something that was kept from you. It could have been literally a secret. could have been something that was done behind closed doors without you knowing. And I'm getting there was some kind of shock to it. Because I'm seeing with the four of swords and a hermit, whatever you found out, you really needed to move yourself away from this person, the source of the issue. There's something, it was like too much for you to handle. 
So I feel like the hermit, this is about going within, doing some reflection, needing time alone, needing space, right? Because when something is just too much, you're like, you know what? I'm just overwhelmed. And I think that's that's what's going on. So I feel like this break was necessary for you to get peace of mind, for you to um, uh, get some clarity, and for you to do some deep thinking, maybe even some healing with the hermit, right? Asking questions, getting some answers. And the moon in reverse, I feel there, there is something here about fears. It may require you to let go of fears and insecurities you're having regarding the situation, things that you feel that were maybe done to you, maybe intentionally or, or personally, because I still feel like that is keeping you away from this person. And I feel like more than ever, someone here wants to reconcile, but... Aquarius, you're going to have to let go of something that happened to pass in order for you to move forward and even consider that, right? Consider a reconciliation. So this could be a Virgo, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. In the foundation, what you're not aware of. Judgment in a verse, the Six of Pentacles and a Page of Cups. It looks to me, honestly, Aquarius, this is someone who wants to apologize to you because what they're doing is that, you know, they're wanting to bring balance back to a situation here because they realize I made a bad decision. I made a bad judgment call. Whatever this decision I made, it wasn't the right one. I don't know what I was thinking. My head wasn't on right. You know, the screws were loose. The judgment is in the verb. So I almost feel like this person's recognizing that I did wrong. I am the source of the problem. I wronged you. I hurt you. I am the reason why this has all happened. I perhaps sabotage this. So I feel like Aquarius, your person is now the one. Six of Pentacles who's wanting to do a little bit more to bring some kind of fairness to a situation. They're wanting to perhaps balance the scales a little bit. It's kind of like the Justice card, right? Six of Pentacles, they want to give a little bit more. They want to make something more equal. Um, this can also be, you know, spending more time with you. Pentacles is uh, investment, time, energy, effort to bring balance. Um, you know, especially if there's something that was not always reciprocated. It was very one-sided, you know. I feel your person could have been also giving to another situation. And this could be a third party. This could be spending more time with family, friends, uh, work and not you. Or a third party, like a romantic person and not you. Whatever happened here, Aquarius, there is an apology. There's someone here who wants to say, I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I apologize. I was wrong. And this could be, do you accept my apology? Because Six of Cups is here. Let's see where this can go. What's the outcome? What does Aquarius need to know? The Emperor in a verse, we have the Wheel and the Nine of Wands in verse. I really think that Aquarius, there could be something you're having to let go and give up in order for this person to come in. Because we do have the Wheel. We do have positive changes that want to manifest in your life, especially regarding the situation. I feel like things will work out, but I also think that there's a lot of resistance. And I feel Aquarius, for some of you, you could be feeling like, just it's just been too much. You know, whatever I've gone through, Nine of Wands in verse, I'm frustrated. I feel... Uh, tired, exhausted, you know, and the Emperor in the verse, some of you guys, you don't entirely trust this person and it could require this person to kind of um, show you, right? Show you by another means that they're really serious this time. The Emperor is in the verse, so speaking about, you know, maybe this person coming up with a plan of action, a strategy, how they plan to um, move towards you or if they were to reconcile with you, how would they act moving forward? There's something about this person showing up showing you and you know really um almost like not just promising but actually showing up in a way that you know okay i can trust you and that could be um that could take time for some of you you know i feel like there's something you're having to let go and this could be a grudge this could be the hurt the pain um or it could just be like you know time you needing you know some space so let's see the emperor is in a verse because I think that a lot of you guys that could be you you're not so quick to move forward with this person but the wheel is is pushing you forward in some kind of positive direction that's going to work out for you anyway so we're going to see what that may be Aquarius in love what's going on all right let's start off with the Hierophant what do we need to know about the Hierophant for Aquarius Ten of Swords so a lot of you guys, you were betrayed by someone. There may have been someone here that blindsided you, that took you by surprise, that did something that you never would have thought 
they would have ever done to you. And it's regarding a commitment. So this could have been stepping out of a commitment. This could have been in a marriage with you and stepped out of the marriage. This could be them um, betraying you in some way because it's regarding a commitment. So this commitment has been tested, right? It looks like there's been some challenges within this commitment. And Aquarius, you've hit rock bottom with this person. And I do think it has to do with the tower. The tower came out with the uh, knight of swords in a verse. Some of you guys, you feel like this person was, um, they lied to you. And we have the Queen of Pentacles in verse. So yeah, this could have been a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's like they lied to you. And they were not ready to... It's like they were in a commitment with you, but they weren't really fully committed. So this is someone that um, expected you to show up a certain way, but they weren't willing to do the same. I'm seeing with the Queen of Pentacles in verse, this person may have really done something that damaged the foundation here. I feel like you don't even look at them as a friend anymore. There, there's something here where it's like you really... You really turned me out, you know? The Queen of Pentacles in verse, I just feel like there's something regarding stability and security. And I think, it, again, it's a tower. Whatever happened, it has to do with this person. And I feel like you you felt blindsided. You didn't see this coming, and nor were they honest about it. But there's something that you found out with the Ace of Swords, the Fool and the Hermit. So whatever you found out, I feel like it resulted in a lot of trust issues. But I also feel like this could be someone here that may have led you on to think that this was going to move forward in a certain direction and then it didn't. I feel this could be this person, Aquarius, who may even went silent on you. You could be an ace of swords when you're trying to get clarity, truth, communication. But I feel like this person, I'm getting they either silenced you, ghosted you, they stopped talking. There's something here about you couldn't, you couldn't even locate this person. You couldn't get the answers you needed. I'm also seeing that there could have been a new beginning elsewhere. Someone started with someone else. And therefore, that's why you don't trust this person. But I feel like the communication is not jiving. There is some kind of miscommunication, poor communication. And with the Hermit and the Four of Swords, I, I'm, I'm really feeling isolation. You guys felt alone. You felt like you were doing this all alone. It's being a career, uh, I'm sorry, Aries or a um, Scorpio. Why is a chariot in the current energy in reverse? So right now, it does look like there's a lot of confusion about being able to move past this. We have the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Even though there is a, perhaps a burning desire deep down to work on this connection, there's something here where it's like, I don't, I don't even know how that looks like. Seven of Cups, there's a lot of confusion, illusions as to how that even is possible. Because you want to work on this, but it's like, is it really practical? How do we... Where do we begin? Where do we start? So with the Seven of Cups, there also could be a situation here where someone has still other people they're dealing with, and that is not going to allow things to move forward in a direction, obviously, that you want things to go. We do have a Six of Cups reconciliation. Someone here wants. Tell me more. Four of Pentacles and a Moon in a verse. So there could be something coming out that is going to be revealed to you, Aquarius. And with the Moon in a verse and the Four of Pentacles, this could be something about this person Wanting to still hold on to this, the Four of Pentacles is a, um, tends to be a little bit of a greedy energy. It's like they don't want you to move on, and that could be the case, Aquarius. And they do find you of value to them, and it's kind of like, you know, they want to hold on to what they have with you because they do see some kind of stability and security. Just, of course, make sure that Aquarius, this person has something to offer you as well, right? It's not about what you can provide to them. I'm also seeing with the moon in a verse, there are still a lot of, again, fears. There's something here about, can I trust you again after what has come out? How do I know you won't betray me again, you know? So the moon in a verse, um, you know, there are some things that, and again, illusions with the seven of cups. There are things that you just don't know. You want to you want to be crystal clear upon. And I think that's kind of why in the recent past you had the Ace of Swords. You've been trying to get clear about where this can go realistically, right? Does it have potential? Can we really change this? Because even though a reconciliation wants to happen, it's kind of like, well, first, we need to like talk about this. We need to discuss this. We need to, um, everything needs to be out in the open. And with the moon and the verse and the hermit, I feel like it may have recently came out of Aquarius, what really happened, but you're still trying to process it with the Hermit. Five of Swords and the Tower in Reverse. Yeah, you're still trying to process it. The only good thing now is that the Tower is in Reverse this time. So whatever came out that shook things up in your life regarding this connection, it is something that you're moving past. You know, it's like the worst is over. 
So you're getting through the hump, right? You're getting through the worst. Um, the climax already hit, and now you're just trying to deal with it. Now you're trying to move past what came out. So with the Five of Swords, there's still some conflict. There is the energy Aquarius of feeling defeated by all this. Like there's lies. There are things that just don't make sense. Whatever came out, it's like you're trying to connect the dots. You're trying to put the puzzle pieces together. And it's very, very um, frustrating. It, it's it's making you upset. I feel the Five of Swords is that, you know, you still need a break, the Hermit. It's a lot that you've been given. There's a lot that has come out and there's still some conflict. Things do not make sense. So give me the energy of the judgment. I think this person realized that, yeah, I, I did make some bad decisions. Six of swords and the three cups in verse. There's been some bad decisions regarding the three cups, regarding a third party. And one thing I am seeing is that a Chris person has perhaps recently made a decision to remove themselves from this third party situation, whether this be a family member, a co-worker, uh, it could be gossip, rumors, it could be work, it could be a third party like as romantic interest, right? Someone that they were dealing with. Whatever that is, this is someone who's acknowledging that, yeah, I was, I stepped out of the line, right? One thing I am seeing though, Six of Swords, Aquarius, this person does want to move past this. They want to make peace with this. They they want to overcome this conflict. They don't want to be here. They want to they want to get to a place where there's some kind of resolution. And that's why we have the Page of Cups. The Magician and the Four Wands in verse. So yeah, this person is wanting to manifest change in this partnership. They want to turn things around, right? The Magician is about creating, right? Turning something that has been perhaps destroyed, that is not stable anymore and now turn it to something that is because we have the four wands in a verse something here regarding um, a relationship a commitment a family home maybe even a marriage here with the four wands is not stable anymore and what this person's trying to do is turn that situation around because it is affecting them too Aquarius right four wands in a verse is a lack of peace a lack of harmony in their home it's affecting their day-to-day -day life it's affecting their ability to to be productive at work it's affecting them and therefore now they're wanting to manifest change Gemini energy and so we have an apology coming in I'm sorry I want to extend myself in in a way okay I want to tell you I I care about you here's a heartfelt offer and this is a means to bring fairness reciprocity i'm willing to do my part now the only thing is that we have the wheel but we also have the emperor in a verse tell me more about the emperor in a verse eight of cups and the seven of swords some of you are curious there could be a situation where you're having to first walk away from this person some of you guys you've already walked away someone has to walk away emotionally or leave the emotional baggage behind because the eight of cups could be literally leaving something behind it doesn't have to be leaving a person but it could be leaving a situation that isn't serving them leaving the pain the hurt the anger the resentment some kind of bad emotion there's something you have to walk away from because the seven of swords is only going to sabotage this connection and if you honestly think I can't do that, right? If you ask yourself, Aquarius, I can't leave that situation. I can't forget what they did to me. I still feel the hurt and pain. Well, then that is a situation that you have to give up on. Then you, then you have to be honest with yourself, right? Because we do have the seven of swords. If you can't be honest, if you can't honestly walk away and let go of the past so you can have a, a new beginning with this person, then you're going to have to just let it go. You're going to have to give up on a connection because the seven of swords, you're only going to sabotage it and it's going to repeat cycles. And spirit doesn't want you to do that. Spirit wants good fortune coming in, the wheel. So that is what I'm saying. I do feel there is a reconciliation on the table, but it really depends. Aquarius, where are you in the connection? What have you gone through? How are you honestly feeling towards this person after going through whatever this test was, ten of swords? This test to this commitment. Okay, that is a challenge for you guys. Aquarius, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Have an amazing extra special day. All right, take care.